okay, well, your daughter's 18, your mother is way over 18. What can I do to help you? Oh, that hurt. I can't help the hurt, it's normal. I can't. I can't fix normal. <laughs> let's get some light on here. Whoa! Well, you know what? That's actually good. Let's stay there. All right, let's look, let's look at my face. Yeah. Y'all, you know, the roosters and the chickens have come home to roost, and the fiddler needs to be paid. I gotta go to the dermatologist. I have skin cancers that I know of. But you know, when you go to those places, they always find they always find one that you don't know about. Hold on. Number one, I just have dermatitis rashy syndrome. Um, there are triggers: spicy food, coffee, stress. Don't take those away from me. You want to see what's happening up here? All right, all right, yeah. Oh, if I only had your skin. Oh, I should look. Oh my goodness! If I only had your skin. Can you give me a moment, please? Thank you. All right, I see on the list. There's a bump up here. I don't know what it is. There's an ingrown or black spot right there. I don't know what it is. There is dry skin right here, but be, and and if the past serves me correctly, they always had to cryo burn it off. Um, there is a skin cancer right here that possibly is cut off. There's a mole on my back that I don't remember seeing. But these are all minor things. Maybe it looks like real bacon. There you go. What can you do with this? Oh boy. So nothing to be alarmed about. It's something to be aware about. And it's also based on that I have a history. I've had a little bit of a reprieve. A little bit of a break. But it's not my first time there. You see, this is a reconstructed... Um, lid and skin area because at one time I had a little tumor growing in my eye in my eyelid the crazy thing is um, I had an awareness about it I had a little bit of a worry about it I went online to learn about it and I saw the most extreme preposterous hypochondric uh, view of what it could be right Anyway, you always talk yourself off that bridge. That's exactly what I had. So I'm having this eye surgery today and they do Mohs surgery. So they've nibbled at it. This is horrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, it's 7.30 in the morning and they've done one cut and they're biopsying right now and we're gonna see how it comes back. It doesn't hurt right now. It's extremely uncomfortable though. And I absolutely could cry right now, but not because it hurts. It's just frustrating. It wasn't a good time. I was very defeated, as you would be. Because I was learning, Mom, let me talk. I was learning to take a needle in my eye like a rock star. Okay, they just did another one. <laughs> They just did another one. My first one didn't come back very good. And I will tell you that this was, this was as bad as it gets. So it was more needles, but I know they went deeper and they went more, and you know, it's just horrible. It hurts. And it's probably the best thing for me to take care of these things. I got sunny vacations coming up this summer. And these things need to be taken care of. And I've known for a while. So, nothing's wrong. I'm just trying to make it right. Need to be there too. Best case scenario, I'm hoping to be cut and burned on today. I have to pay for the entire visit today. I have to pay for the office visit. I have to, have, I have to pay for any procedures they do. And I'm excited about putting that on my credit card to get double the travel points. Never let a good crisis go to waste. We're here. This is where I came when I had that eye problem. But I had the, they referred me to a place that did Mohs surgery. I think it's M-O-E-S. You know what Mohs surgery is? Mohs surgery is, instead of cutting a gigantic amount, they cut a small amount. They immediately check the perimeters. Let's say there's 5% cancer. Well, I'm going to do another cut, another cut. I had three passes. Broke my spirit toward the last one, just because I had already been a good boy, you know? I'd already been patient. Like I said, I've had two of these. The second one was really bad. It hurt. 
I'm starting to the the anesthesia of my eyes wearing off, and I'm feeling it. It's very raw. So um, I'm hoping it comes back clear. I just sat back, and that means every time I went back in, they anesthetized it again, and help. I don't know the word. Quarter quarterize. Right? You know what that means? That means you burn it shut so it stops bleeding. All right, good news. I'm done. Um, I'm done with part one of this number one surgery. I saw it, and it looks rough. It looks bad. I've been picked up. I'm in. I'm in the car right now. There's no way that anyone could ever get used to it. It was the most foreign thing you could imagine of having somebody mess with your eye like that. I felt like I was just strapped down, and they need to do their work. If I move, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be the one messing it up. It was, it was way too much responsibility for me. So anyway, listen, let's go inside. Turn this off. It's funny that when the gown went on, I started having like, it's not anxiety, but I'm really remembering like when they did this, that feeling of just being like, it doesn't matter if somebody's helping you, you're helpless. The thing that bothers me the most, and I'm trying to pretend that it's not happening, is this. That, uh, the whole IV, especially when they... When That's they, normal. I don't like it. I want it gone. <sighs> okay, it's over. If you've ever had experience at the dermatologist, what you'll learn at is the thing that you thought was the problem is not the problem, right? So, the thing that was burned the most is this. A lot of my problems are gonna be treated with medication. Okay, let's go. Here's what happened. Um, not only did the five things that I had looked at, not only were things treated, we did a once over. So I basically got a clean bill of health. And what I thought was the most severe of problems is a medication issue. So it wasn't a little, it wasn't a lot, it was well worth it. And it was also essential future travel points that I used. It's very ironic that my travel points I earned from the dermatologist I can now use in the Greek islands to burn my skin. Think about that.